Good Friday morning, everybody. Um, this is the January 31st edition of the Destination Brevard Morning Report. And this morning we're at Tuckaway Shores Resort on A1A in Indy Atlantic. Uh, so big thanks to them for letting us come out and do this here. Um, all right, so the morning reports. It's a little rundown of what's going on today, what's coming up, some business spotlights, uh, and some general randomness. So let's get, uh, well, the weather, all right, it's kind of overcast right now. Uh, we are expecting some rain tonight into tomorrow, uh, like a 50% chance pretty much that whole time. So you know how that goes. We could see rain, we might not see anything. Um, if the clouds go away, we could see high in the mid 70s today. Tomorrow and Sunday after this front blows through, we're looking at highs in the mid 60s. Um, but I, after the rain's gone, if we get any, it's going to be a gorgeous weekend, especially Sunday for Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, it'll be a good day to be outside, a little cookout, do whatever you want. Since we're at the beach, let's take a little time for a Brevard County Beach Cast, which, as always, is sponsored by absolutely natural skin care and sun care products that are made right here in Melbourne. Uh, their factory is over on Atlantis Drive, and you can buy their products online. Uh, at their website, or you can stop by the, um, the retail store they have at the factory. Uh, you'll want to check their website for hours that the store is open, but definitely some cool little Valentine's Day gifts there for you. Um, also, the Beachcast is sponsored by Longboard House, which is right down the street from where we're at right now, uh, at the corner of A1A and 5th Avenue. And, oh, they always have lots of gift ideas but they carry bright and jewelry. So guys, if your ladies like bright and jewelry, this is a good time to go get something for Valentine's Day. Uh, so the beach cast, you can see it's a little rough out there right now, uh, four or five foot on sets. When the front blows through, it should knock it down some, but there's a, especially right now, there's a pretty good risk of rip currents. Uh, we'll see how that goes through the weekend. But right now you don't really wanna be messing around in the water too much. And just looking, I don't see a bunch of man of wars out there on the beach, but I am up here. They are down there and we've had wind on shore for a bit. So there's probably a few mixed in the surf. Um, what next? What next? Okay. So our new YouTube channel, uh, we dumped our old one that had videos up from the past almost decade uh, and we're starting over fresh. Uh, it's going to be about a month before we can claim the youtube.com slash destination Brevard name before they'll let us do that. Um, so for now, you just kind of have to click over to the page, whatever it shows up there. But we'd appreciate it if you'd hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything except a microsecond of your time so we can start building that audience. We will always share the videos, especially the morning reports, um, on our Facebook page, but there will eventually be stuff on our YouTube channel that is not shared on the Facebook page or possibly on Instagram or on our website or our app or in our email blast. So we're trying to mix it up a little bit so that um, every platform that we use has some unique content. Now our email blast that I just mentioned, uh, the only way you sign up for that is there's a little blue button on our Facebook page right below the cover image. Uh, click on that, sign up for it. Again, it doesn't cost you anything. And we never share your email addresses. Uh, our email audience is very important to us and your privacy is just as important. Um, so yeah, sign up for that. There's always, again, something new in there. Uh, now, okay, events, let's get right to that. So here's a couple of events going on today. Uh, we mentioned already this morning on the Facebook page that the Danny Q barbecue truck will be at Dog Spot uh, Hotel uh, in Melbourne from 11 to 1.30. So if you're in the area, that's like just off of Wickham um, between Pineda and Post. Uh, if you're in the area, go grab some barbecue. They actually have a barbecue sauce that they make here, and I know I've seen it at Downtown Produce, not sure where else. Uh, we'll have to check on that. But go by, get some barbecue. Uh, tonight, and it should, again, be okay as far as the weather, uh, from five till nine, 
the Cocoa Village Friday Fest is going on. So there's food trucks, music, um, plenty of local businesses to go browse through, places to go grab a bite or an adult beverage. So go check that out if you're looking for something to do. Uh, later this afternoon, we'll have a post up about who's playing and where. Um, but remember, we can only tag or we can only have 50 tags in a post. So not everybody's gonna get tagged in there. We do best we can, but there's a bunch of people playing tonight. So look for that in a little bit. Uh, now tomorrow, there's a few events we wanna talk about. Uh, and we've mentioned this one a few times, but it's kind of important. So we mentioned it again. Um, the Brevard County Dental Society or Association, one of the two, um, is hosting Give Kids a Smile at Eastern Florida State College Cocoa Campus. This is a great time for you to take your kids up to get uh, any dental problems they might have taken care of uh, without stressing about the cost. Uh, all of the volunteers there do a great job and um, it's, it's pretty important to take care of those teeth. Uh, I can thank Dr. Pulsus right down the road here in Indian Harbor Beach uh, for finally getting me to understand that. So yeah, uh, go take advantage of this program. It's a first come first serve basis. So you wanna get there early and be prepared to wait a bit. Uh, it's the last weekend of the Brevard County Renaissance Fair uh, at Wickham Park. So um, this is the fourth weekend, final weekend. And if you've never been, um, it is, it's an amazing event. Uh, I don't spend enough time when I go there because I'm usually just running through taking some videos or some pictures, but you can easily spend an entire day there um, checking out the performances, looking at the vendors, watching the shows. So go check it out. Uh, if we do see some rain tonight and tomorrow morning, it'll, it'll be kind of medieval there because it does get muddy. Uh, so prepare for that. But if we don't get a lot of rain, um, it'll be just fine. Either way, go check it out. Uh, they should have a pretty healthy crowd both days, Saturday and Sunday. What next? Uh, downtown Melbourne Farmer's Market is hosting a wellness market tomorrow at Riverview Park in downtown Melbourne from 10 till 3. We'll try and stop by uh, to post from there in the morning. Uh, maybe do our morning report from there tomorrow morning, depending on the weather. Um, but go by, check it out. It's just south of downtown Melbourne on the river. And tomorrow from 11 till 4 at the West Melbourne Community Park, the Kiwanis Club of Melbourne is hosting uh, Heart Rocks for Kids, and it's super family friendly. We'll be posting about it, but you can Facebook search that before we get to it to find out more about it. But it looks super fun, uh, and again, we'll be posting about it in just a bit. Okay, uh, sewing. It's something we should all know how to do. Something our parents probably knew how to do. Our grandparents definitely probably knew how to do, but it's one of those lost talents that that we just don't see people being taught anymore. And uh, fairy thimbles, they're on Palm Bay Road, just east of Robert J. Conlon Boulevard. Um, they have a learn to sew class going on tomorrow from 1.30 to 3. So you can go to their Facebook page, message them, see if they have room for that. And tomorrow at Pelican Beach Park and Satellite Beach, uh, the locals only contest sponsored by Long Doggers and Villain is going on. Uh, depending on how much of the event takes up the parking lot, um, parking there can be interesting. So um, just be careful, especially if you're crossing the road. Um, and again, the weather, once the rain's gone, if it comes through, it should be a great day. Oh. I missed one. Um, the 11th annual Higher Power Car Show at Trinity Wellsprings Church in South Patrick Shores. That's between Satellite and Pineda. Um, on South Patrick Drive is going on tomorrow. I do not have a time for that, but it's a great event. Uh, again, parking, follow the instructions for the people that are asking you where to park um, because there's like one little strip that you can go down to park. So please follow the instructions so everybody is safe. Uh, tomorrow evening, again, the weather should be good for this at Paddling Paradise on US-1 in Palm Bay, right at Turkey Creek. Uh, they, they have a uh, Saturday sunset social and they do have rentals, kayak and uh, 
stand up paddle boards. You can bring your own, go have some fun, family friendly. You can check out the uh, Tiki Boat Tour, which we will also be doing a, um, a morning report on next week at some point. Uh, now, Sunday, they have a stand up paddleboard clinic. So you want to contact them, see if they have room for that. And the last event we're going to talk about this morning, and we mentioned it yesterday, is up at the uh, Valiant Air Command Museum yeah. in Titusville. It's the, they have the XP82 twin Mustang um, on, it's, it's kind of in residence right now. It's hanging out and weather permitting, they're going to do a night run tomorrow from six till nine. It's a ticketed event. So you want to contact them to see if they have tickets left and to make sure they're still going to have it. And we're going to try and get up there for that because getting a picture of the little green car with the twin Mustang has been something I've wanted to do for a bit. So let's hope that that event goes on. Let's get into some business spotlights real quick. Um, dream controls and designs. You've seen us post about them, about home automation, and um, they can they can do some amazing stuff uh, with LED lights. Uh, again, with like Alexa, whatever you want, they can do uh, fully customized for your house for what you want. Um, accent lights under the cabinets in your kitchen, which is something I really want to do. Uh, but check them out on Facebook. Um, Vitalifts, they are on Wickham Road in Melbourne, uh, just south of Pineda a little bit. Uh, actually, just south of the Home Depot and on the other side of the road. And they have different kinds of infusions um, and vitamin shots that you can do and some other services and products. So check them out on Facebook and you've probably seen the videos that we've done there. Uh, Halo Salt Cave on 192 in West Melbourne. Um, a little bit down from Target, uh, they have a Halo Salt Cave where you can sit in the cave and relax. Uh, you'll want to go to their Facebook page and website to read more about the benefits of that. They do have some other services. They have a sauna there and they have some foot soaking services. Um, check them out get a gift certificate for Valentine's Day. That'd be a, a great gift idea. And it's just uh, that cave, it's very, very relaxing. Put some headphones on and just hang out for a little bit. Um, oh, Doghouse Pizza. I know you've seen posts from Doghouse Pizza and about Doghouse Pizza. They're on John Rhodes Boulevard in Melbourne, just south of O'Galley. Uh, follow them on Facebook. They make some pretty creative stuff and their Chicago thin crust pizza definitely worth a shot try it they also have a crustless pizza keto friendly um, super high in calories but it is super good low carb go give it a shot now it's Super Bowl weekend uh, hopefully you've already made your plans for what you're gonna do for Super Bowl whether it's going out somewhere to watch it or having friends and family over now, if you have not taken care of any of your catering needs, chances are, if you're looking for wings, you may be out of luck, but start calling around this morning, see if anybody has any time slots left. And we've got some ideas for you, like the Super Bowl party at the Broken Barrel Tavern on Babcock Street in Palm Bay. Uh, we'll be posting about that later today, again, um, telling you ticket prices and stuff, but that should be a, a good time for sure. And that's gonna be it for Spotlights. I do wanna remind you that we do have a Facebook group page, Destination Brevard uh, Facebook group page. And if you are a local business, you can post on there about yourself whenever you like, for free. It's there. Uh, we just hit over 3,000 people in that group. Um, it doesn't have quite the reach that this main page does, but that's still 3,000 people out there that you could be reaching right now, and it's growing every day. We also started a real estate page, a real estate business page, and that is growing now as well. And that is for local real estate professionals, whether you're a, um, an agent, a broker, or a contractor doing something for realtors, um, whether it's roofing, cleaning floors, whatever, uh, painting, doesn't matter. That's there for you. So if you'd like to get involved with that, just shoot us a message on our Facebook page or send an email to Cheryl at DestinationBrevard.com. And that's going to be it 
hopefully you've enjoyed this view this morning uh, and hopefully the sun comes out because that would be nice I know my solar panels would like it I'd like some hot water tonight without turning on the water heater um, we may be posting another video here in a little bit and then I'm gonna try depending on the weather to do a an evening report somewhere on location and that's it y'all have a great day and we'll get back to